Hey guys, it's Luke from the Teenage Gamers HQ here and I'm here to bring you a tutorial on the CC lens featured in my last edit because it got a certain amount of likes and I said I'd do an, a tutorial for it if it did get that amount of likes and it has so here we go so here's a clip if you haven't seen it She was alright, she used to skip class with me and ride around in the night I never thought I'd lie up it I tried to keep it cool till she hooked up with other kids running around the school but shit, how you do that girl? I used to complain about bitches, now you that girl Now I'm here about oh everybody screwed that girl It didn't take long for you So yeah, it's basically a really nice clean CC lens One of the best that you can do in Vegas I haven't seen any better than it actually So to get started, just want to get your clip We'll just get first one again. Let's go. No, oh, we'll just get this one. Let's just play it through. Now oh, it's gonna lag. Whatever. Radio. Yeah. Okay, so what you want to do is find where the shot is, exactly where he shoots. Just, just there. Split it with S, then you want to go download New Blue V2, the pack that contains the lens correction. I'll put the link down in the down in the description. But you want to drag on lens correction to your second half, and then what you want to do is click animate. Go down to here. I've already got presets for it, but I'll put it in the description what you need to have. On the first keyframe you want to have for distortion minus 88.2 for zoom you want to have 4.20 then what you want to do is you want to go about forward about 5 keyframes and then make another keyframe 5 frames sorry and then make another keyframe and then on this one you want to have the distortion at minus 15.3 and the zoom still on 4.2 then the same again go forward 5 make another keyframe this one you want to have it all back to zero and then basically you can just muck around with it down here and make it as long as you want and everything and just go back and watch it through to see if it's alright so have a look at this one that was a little too fast I reckon so I'll just spread them out a bit more so we have about that let's see how this goes That's good, there we go. Now what we want to do is, if you don't have magic bullet looks, I would recommend it, but if you don't have it, you can just do a normal colour correction. On your first half of your clip, you just want a real dull, not bright colour correction. One that doesn't make it stand out, so we'll just go, we'll go old school. Finished. And this will probably lag up a bit now, but... I'll render it out at the end for you to look at. Then on your second clip, you want a really bright, vibrant color correction that makes it really stand out. I just hate when things lag. There we go. So that's, it looks really bright there, but it's not as bright as it looks. So basically, yeah, that's the color correction side. It's probably going to be too slow to play. You might be able to get a rough. Yeah, I'll render this out later for you guys and put it just right now.